Baseball has been played on the 4th of July since 1871. It means Hall of Famers dueling for 20 innings. It means a birthday boy throwing a no-hitter. It means brothers opposing each other on the same mound and hitting home runs in the same lineup. And of course it means the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Yes, Lou Gehrig's farewell speech in 1939 will always be the most memorable 4th of July moment in baseball history, but it's not the most memorable game. That one took place on July 4th, 1985 in Atlanta between the Braves and the Mets. At least, that's the day it started. A series of rain delays were partly to blame for the late finish, but the marathon could have been avoided altogether if either team had simply closed the game out in regulation. The Braves had scored four runs in the bottom of the eighth to take a one-run lead, only to see the Mets tie the game in the top of the ninth on a single by Lenny Dykstra. The game remained tied at eight until the 13th when New York went ahead by two. With two out in the bottom of the 13th, Atlanta's Tommy Harper hit a home run to tie the score. But that wasn't even the most remarkable game-tying home run of the night. The Mets finally broke through with a single run in the top of the 18th, and they were one out away from victory in the bottom half with Atlanta pitcher Rick Camp at the plate. Camp was an 060 hitter who had never homered in his career and had struck out in half his major league at bats. Yet somehow he managed to hit a home run to left field. Mets outfielder Danny Heap watched the ball sail over the fence and put his hands on top of his head in disbelief. The game, remarkably, would continue. The Mets pushed across five runs in the top of the 19th, but the Braves rallied one last time. They scored twice and had the tying run at the plate in the person of Camp. This time, however, he reverted to form, striking out swinging to end a 16-13 New York victory. In addition to the 29 runs, the teams combined for 46 hits, 28 by the Mets, 5 errors, and 14 pitchers. Mets catcher Gary Carter caught all 19 innings, and first baseman Keith Hernandez hit for the cycle. Both were otherwise remarkable feats that were quickly forgotten. And Mets third baseman Howard Johnson said, that was the greatest game ever played. Ever. Shortly after the last out, the long promised fireworks display began in the skies over Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. Nearby residents who were awakened became concerned that something terrible was happening, but they needn't have been alarmed. Besides, it was only the second most impressive display in the city that night.